my dear students good morning this is deepak kumar and i welcome you in today's asl class so i request you to listen to the audio content carefully because i will ask you some of the questions on the basis of this audio content so let's start the indian parliament has approved the bill for offering 10% quota in education and employment to economically weaker sections in the general category though it is cited as a historic bill for reservation for economically weaker sections in upper caste many feel that this is a political move to consolidate the vote banks reservation is a part of corrective action which seeks to bring equality in the beginning there were provisions of reservation in government jobs and education only for certain socially and economic and educationally backward castes like scheduled caste sc and scheduled tribe st after a period of time other backward castes obcs was added to the list reservations were supposed to end 20 years after it was launched since they were expected to uplift these sections and bring them at parity with the common general population but due to political compulsions they were renewed the constitution 124th amendment bill 2019 seeks to provide for the advancement of economically weaker sections of citizens article 15 of the constit of the constitution prohibits discrimination against any citizen on the grounds of race religion caste sex or place of birth however the government may make special provisions for the advancement of socially and educationally backward caste classes or for scheduled castes and scheduled tribes the bill seeks to amend article 15 to additionally permit the government to provide for the advancement of economically weaker sections further up to 10% of seats may be reserved for such sections for admission in educational institutions such reservation will not apply to minority educational institutions article 16 of the of the constitution prohibits discrimination in employment in any government office however the government can allow reservation for any backward class of citizens if they are not adequately represented in the services under the state the bill seeks to amend article 16 to permit the government to reserve up to 10% of all posts for the economically weaker sections of citizens the reservation of up to 10% for economically weaker sections in educational institutions and public employment will be in addition to the existing reservation the central government will notify the economically weaker sections of citizens on the basis of their family income and other indicators of economic disadvantage in the landmark verdict of supreme court in the mandal case case the supreme court has held had held that the proposal to provide 10% reservation for other economically backward section sections of of the people who are not covered by any of the existing schemes of reservation as constitutionally invalid the supreme court had held that mere economic backwardness or more educational backwardness or mere educational backwardness which is not the result of social backwardness cannot be the criterion of backwardness in article 16 4 the supreme court has even ruled in the indra uh, sawni case that the share of jobs or educational or legislative seats reserved for different communities cannot together exceed up to 50% so the present order of the government to provide reservations violates some of the the observations made by the supreme court in its previous judgments thank you my dear students this this is the first audio content okay when you will listen to this audio content i will ask you some of the questions okay dear once you finish the audio content you will uh, give me you will give me a message in the class okay now the next audio content let's start social media is an indisputable force in the world with the universal platform internet where 3 billion people are connected online it has emerged as the strongest and the most powerful network in the history of mankind reaching out to millions of people with a message usually requires strong planning and a great deal of knowledge 
about how social media and information channels work. For example, Facebook is one of the best known social media networks and is one of the most popular with 1.1 billion members worldwide. And Twitter is a highly powerful tool which allows connecting and engaging with an existing or potential customer base. There are over 500 million registered users worldwide. YouTube, the video sharing website, has over a billion users with people watching hundreds of millions of hours of content every day. With 3 billion users, the impact of social media does not stop online. It has now become a section of a much larger sphere of influence, despite the fact that these social media may in initially create a certain buzz regarding a subject or a topic. Overall, it has the power to create opinion and huge publicity. It is a very useful, useful medium for spreading awareness. For example, it can be of use uh, to spread information about dramatic events or to warn others about risky routes. When immigrants reach a new country, they can also use social media to contact their fellow countrymen who are already there. They can get information about visas and permits, government authorities they can turn to or what things cost. Social media has also become a new platform or a new tool for democracy. Millions of people can, ex can express and share views and form political and social opinions. Social media also offers a platform for political campaigners and organizers to create a political market platform where candidates, government officials and political parties can use social media to create public opinion in the desired direction. Political campaigners have understood the power of social media and that along with advertising on traditional mediums such as posters, billboard, advertising, television and newspapers. They must fund and invest in digital marketing campaign if they want to compete with their rival parties. For example, over the past few years, such campaigners were highly visible in UK and US, where many political parties used social media campaigns to garner more votes and to defeat their opponents. Apart from this, there are also examples of individuals who have quickly succeeded in raising large sums of money for those in need. The power of social media has attracted a huge commercial interest which has begun to jump and exploit the medium. Social media campaign has become a business with the emergence of several thousand organizers around the world. Apart from driving users of Facebook to their website using marketing promotion and other strategies, they have used them for putting information of the users for their marketing strategies. Thank you, my dear students. So that's all from today's class. Once you listen to this content, uh, the, uh, the audio will end. And then I will ask you some of the questions, some of the uh, objective questions from this uh, audio content, as well as some of the subjective questions from this content. Thank you very much, my dear students, for listening to the content. Thank you.